What is up guys, welcome back, today I'm going to show you how to play Yasuo and we will be starting with a low cooldown ability with just a Q and uh, we're just going to step back and then we're going to use this ability to last hit with and it can stack up and once it is stacked up then your next Q becomes a ranged attack, like longer range, um, that knocks up people and you can try to use this to like poke the enemy champ or you can use it to hit the minions that are further behind but for now, we're just gonna stay back and chill. Since we need to unlock our mobility first before we can actually start doing stuff. Gonna hit a little too soon. That's a good trade. So you see that he is like a point and click mobility spell and when you use it on a target then there will be a short cooldown before you can dash to that target again. But it's going to make you dash in a fixed distance and it's really important to know because this is what allows you to dash past jungle camps to get to the other side of the wall and stuff. And we also have that passive shield, um, we're going to try to look for traits when that shield is up. So you can abuse that extra defensive stuff that you have in your kit. And there'll be of course the wind wall that Yasuo is pretty known and hated for, I assume. It's getting pretty low, but you can dash around, but don't spam dash around. Um, because if you need to escape from an incoming gank, and your E is on cooldown on all the targets, you'll not be able to dash. Right, just has to make sure this wave crashes in. He has TP, so he might recall at some point. But if we can let this wave push in a little bit, then it's easier to uh, look for the kill. But I can imagine he wants to reset. So we can actually also just keep pushing him in. Oh, that's so unlucky. He flashed and then he got knocked back. Okay, he's resetting. Let's push this. And this champion, um, he's pretty difficult to uh, play and master, guys. So it's something you had to invest a lot of time into. And that's just how it goes, but at the same time, he's also very, very rewarding to play. But ideally, you want to stay back last hit with your Q. When your tornado's coming up, you can try to hit the enemy champion with a skill shot knockup, or you can use the EQ. Okay, we see Phil Stakes in the bot side jungle. Okay, we also see the bliss crank coming in we do have the w we're just going to block all projectiles so that includes bliss crank grab a hook or whatever you call it wow they trolled oh my god i wonder one of the kills that's why i flashed for it that's fine. Great counter gank by my teammates. I don't know what they were trying to do there. The sticks hit the fear and then Blitzcrank somehow missed the grab but So great. That turned out to be pretty good for us. I'm just gonna go ahead and reset here. So yeah, Q, Q, Q cooldown skills off of attack speed. So that's why you want to be getting the tier 2 boots early on. It's not the only reason though, um, you are an auto attack best champ, so you get to use auto attacks a lot more often. As well as your Q and your E dashing speed also increases when you have the tier 2 boots. So this is going to feel like a pretty uh, solid spike. But the very strong spike comes in once you have two crit items, because thanks to his passive, it's going to amplify the amount of crit that you're getting from items and you don't have to worry about getting too much crit um, because you get to 100% crit pretty fast 
but any excess crit that you're getting, which means that any crit that goes beyond 100%, is going to be converted into bonus AD. So now I have to worry about getting too much crit. And the ultimate is something that you can use when the target is getting knocked up or from a displacement ability, for example the Trundle Pillar. And this makes him, you know, pretty good team fighter if you have something with AoE knock up. We have the Malphite here, we also have the Rakan, so that's some pretty great synergy we have here, but sometimes you don't have that. In that case, you have to be the one looking for a great engage with your um, Q knock up. Let's see the Philistex top side, right? He might be doing the uh, skull crap. Right. The wave is in a solid position right here. Is it going to reset? But the easiest way to land a knockup is probably doing the EQ. So you have your Q stacked, and then your EQ is going to make it so you spin the blade and. It goes from being a skill shot into just a sort of a point and click. Can we go for it? Oh, he does not have the alt up. Okay. I'll just take this then. He has some pretty nice items because he got the kills. Seriously. So that's some good stuff. Okay, he did not take out the minions. Okay, you got the flash out. So, one thing here, guys, is that if you're going to knock people up... Okay, one second. So, if you're going to knock people up by yourself, um, you have some time before you have to ult. So, you can use that time to get an auto attack in before ulting, so you maximize, you know, the damage that you're dealing. Or, when you have enough attack speed from your items, you can also do an EQ and then ult. Then you're going to transfer the damage to the main target, and you also get a free stack on your Q. I don't think he's going to reset yet, but the ultimate is down on fill sticks, which is great. That's a really good thing for us. Oh no, he's getting Camberonis. He should be fine though, because Phil Six does not have a uh, ult up. Still not walking up. Let's see him use the flash though. Alright, there you go, just be a little bit patient, and you know, you don't have to EQ the target before ulting, um, for example if you're out of range, you can't do that, instead you can do it on the minions, he's still going to transfer towards the enemy champ, so that's probably one of the most important things. Something else is that you use the target champions only, and you bind that to a key, I have it on the C, so you can see uh, my cursor turning red here. Oh bro, I got scammed. I got jibated. But you can see, um, my cursor, when I hold down the ch target champion only, it turns red. And this is great. For when you want to get close to the jungle camps in order to dash past them. Because if you don't use target champions only, you might accidentally auto attack the jungle camps and then they start moving around. And that just makes it almost impossible to actually do the dash probably. First of all, the target champions only is another important um, I'm not going to all over that. If I had ignite, I probably would. 
can also queue the jungle camps from here. So this one is not up. You Because that's something you can do level 1. So you can queue here. And then they'll start moving to this side. And then you can queue them once again. Uh, 6 is getting uh, contested. I think I can... Uh... Never mind. Should we not do this? Okay, my thing is fine. I think I'll ward this side here. He did use his uh, teleport. Let's just push this in. See if we can get another plate. Those decks probably hit a bot side. Rip. Did he carry? Oh, never mind. They're doing pretty well for themselves. I hope they saw that. I actually hope they saw that. But this champ is super important that you, you know abuse the minions because they are the ones. Oh wow. Wow, that stopwatch came in clutch. I had to flash over here, otherwise I don't think I'll be able to chase him. Because they just keep getting their CC up. Is he staying? He probably reset, right? Oh, he's not here. I also don't see Maokai though. Looks like Blitzcrank is headed. Lost my lane. And against the fill stakes, you can ward over here. When you're pushed up. Because they usually like to ult from this side. And we got the plates before they expired. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna leave this up. Alright, didn't have to use too much. Can you hold mid? Brother. You can just take the XP. So you got the Krangster here, and then you go into the Infinity Edge. Do not buy Guild Force. I feel like it's such a bait item. Why would you even go for this? Like, this gives you the damage that you need, guys. This is what Yasun Yone is all about. You need damage. And you can see we already have a lot of crit because of the amplifier on the passive. And crit is also even more important because your ultimate also works off of it. Oh man, if I was there. He has flash. Okay, nice. Oh my god, the CC bro. Bro, the CC man. That's a, that's one thing with Yasuo is that he really really struggles against point and click CC. Like the Phil Six Fear. You have to be really good at maneuvering around that kind of stuff. I don't have the ultimate up yet. Assume he's still here, right? You can try to like maybe bait him in. Oh, he just walked away. Okay. Oh no, the cannon. It's not warded. Oh, the tower's almost down. He has the mega ult. That did not hit? I hit the plus crank. There you go. Double 
You see, I was not only focusing on the target that was right in front of me, I also tried to like look further uh, behind and see if somebody would try to overextend when they try to help their allies. And that's how I got to the Blitzcrank. Well played from my team and we're in the mid game here so I just go both side. Or we can go top depending on where the uh, minion waves are. Um, because when you get to silence, it's a lot easier to force those one versus ones. Um, the lane is extended, so it's harder for the opponent to escape. Sleep is for the guiltless. Okay, what is this guy doing? Oh wow, okay. That was a very desperate attempt. Ooh, okay, Akshan also coming in. Nice try though. I don't think any of us expected the action, but he is zero and four. Uh, so keep in mind what items they have. So Phil Sticks has the uh, Sonya Hourglass. That's a very important item to um, drag off. Oh, okay, that was some uh, messed up synergy. Oh man. Come on, bro. Does he have ult up? I did not see if he ulted actually. I think I'll just get out here. Sitting on 1k shot down, so I don't want to uh, hint it yet. Shut down. Ooh, shut down? Okay, okay. Shut down's coming in. Oh no. Right, get out, bro. You will survive. Nice, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Do we not take the uh, Herald? That's a massive ARAM. Wow. They already started grouping a lot. Um, I think I just back off here. Good CP trying to uh, protect me, so that's fine. Alright, we have this now, so now it's pretty uh, we'll style what you can buy. Um, you don't have to go for the standard build. I'm gonna get the shield bow here, because it gives us some nice sustain, but you also get that shield for some anti-burst. Or actually, I could just sit on the uh, item here and then go for the wit sand, because they have 3 AP. But I also need the QSS probably, because of the fill sticks here. But yeah, Switzerland is a great purchase. Could be around here. Oh, he's there. Never mind, that was his clone. Okay. I'm gonna go both side. Yeah, we could probably force the bear. Oh, they have to watch out from this side. Just making sure they're not getting the uh, bounty from the tower. Okay, he's not there. Maybe reset, who knows? Oh, they're fighting. Okay, hell coming in. We just taking down the tower down too fast though, so now it has to waste the charge. If we can get the Arena Soul? No, probably not, because of the um this crank. Okay, that's fine. We'll get to, uh, let's go for this while they're defending. I don't have the wind wall up yet, but it does have a high cooldown, guys. So it's something you do not want to waste. I'm just taking up the queue here. You don't want to waste it, so save it for something important, you know. I actually think it works with the Maokai ultimate as well. 
So that's an option, if I remember it right, it should work. And also Blitzcrank Hook, if you can save an ally. It also works on Akshan Ultimate, but it's not really worth anything at the moment. But that ability can single-handedly turn around the fight if you manage to block out some crucial ultimates. Um, oh. Do we uh, go for this guy? Oh, it's for it. I don't think we should be doing this. We don't see the uh, Akshan though, bot side. We just need a good ultimate. From the Rakan or the Amalfight. Okay, we just gotta be uh, patient. Is nobody taking the red? Okay, I'll take it then. So this spot tower is probably going down pretty soon. Um, I'm just gonna try to push mid now that um, Aurelian Soul is topside. You could go split pushing at this point, but I fear that people will get caught out. Either they will get caught out or I will. And it's just a solo queue thing. But our CS is pretty good this game. We also pretty good XP wise. We have 1k shutdown, so I should definitely look to get something defensive. Um, Guardian Angel, Wood Sand. I cannot go in here because they could be up here. But Arena Soul is, uh, Arena Soul is starting to get uh, way stronger. Jesus Christ, man, what is that? And he kills us. Jesus, man, what? 100 to 0, out of nowhere. Yeah, no, no uh, QSS, no fun. They do have uh, Malphite ults, but they should probably use it to try to steal. So Malphite goes in and then Kha'Zix steals, but maybe better that they don't risk anything. I guess, because I got caught out. I trolled. I have QSS now. My, my bad, guys. My bad. Bro, he's uh, still on 5, no? Oh no, am I getting hit too? Oh, rip shield. Rip movement speed. Oh yeah, that's not very good, guys. That is not good. Because I got caught out and they have some really annoying point and click CC. That is what makes it so hard to play Yasuo. Let's get him. He has to stopwatch, I assume. Okay, there we go. Good thing. Good job, Roski. Oh, there's somebody over here. Okay, nice. Oh no, Rakan's... Brother Rakan, but it's fine. Like... All of them except for the Maokai lost. Bro, what? Wait, how did <laughs> my Q missed or what? And they just lost the Baron out of nowhere, so that's huge. I'm gonna try to heal up here because Phil Sticks is alive. No. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, no. I knew that was going to happen with the ults. They all extended and then we all extend. But the good thing here is that all of them lost the Baron. Yeah, that's something. I need this. And um, now we can start itemizing uh, towards the Shilbo. And probably last item is going to be a Witsend or... You know what? Just go straight towards the Whitsand, I guess. It's a little bit annoying because I'm sitting on a component and I don't have any space left. Just 
but I'm getting pretty hard shredded. Or you can also go into the uh, morph. I actually think that might be even better because of the shield. Oh no, don't go in guys. That should be there. Bro, it's... Okay, that that Malphite saved everything with adults. But yeah, I definitely need MR. It's like pretty situational what you build after you get the Crying Slayer and the Infinite Edge, then you can start itemizing probably against your opponents. You can even delay one of the core items if needed. You see this game, I'm getting pretty hard shredded by their magic damage sources. I definitely need to be building double um, MR items. He's gonna ult first, I assume. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, okay. Good job. That's one crucial uh, flash that they just lost out on. Oh, no, no. I'm gonna fly towards them. Okay, we'll see. We're gonna solve bot side. I shan't might come for this, but I don't want to stay when I'm alone. Because if he exhausts, then it's gonna take a while for me to kill him, and then somebody else might be able to uh, defend. Let's see what they have. It's still only the stopwatch. This one we need to keep an. Uh, um, does he need it? Looks like he needs it. Bro, I feel like that's an obvious bait, no? Good thing I had the QSS, because it actually saved me the last couple of times. Now they could be up here. Just check with their cues, because if it makes that sound... It means somebody's there. When I get this and then I get the move, I think that's the game plan. So I'll be able to, uh, I would have to sell the Vamp Scepter. Like that team fighting is so insane. Ours is pretty good too. There's like two comms with really great team fighting. But main thing or the main issue I would say is that we are squishies. Oh, they can take the uh, Blitzcrank. I'm gonna stay here to keep the uh, Maokai ult out. Oh my god, guys. Why, guys? What are you guys doing? We know they have so much AoE and they still just walk into the pit to get ulted by kill sticks. And this is what happens if you get punished by a team fighting comp. Because we don't have a frontline on our side, so that means that we have to play even more careful. Oh, um, Mal Malphite is going AP, which is okay, because he just needs to land a good ult and then they're pretty much finished. But since we don't have a tank, if we get caught out, they can just run us down. Oh, okay, that was really lucky or calculated, I don't know. But I'm still going to show the games regardless of winning or losing. Um, Main thing here is to show how to play him um, at the different stages and also how to play the champ. But in these team fights, I have to be really patient. I don't want to go in too early on uh, because I am the main target they will be focusing down. help him oh my god they all have um... a 
I'll just hop now. Okay, I was just about to say, please don't have your ultimate up. <laughs> Let's go for this, it's going to be the soul. They messed up pretty big time, but the Aurelian soul is coming in here, so we would need to uh, take this out instantly. We had to burst it down. Phil Sticks is not here, so that's fine. I think we're good to go. Alright, that one is secured. Um, everybody's up to- yeah, he could be waiting here, that's pretty- that's a good thing, that's a good move. Oh my god, why, bro? Why? Why are you guys coming? They just made it obvious. Like, they can get caught out pretty easily here. Yeah, so I think we have to go for the move. I don't think that's the choice, guys. Triple MR. MR, MR, MR. This is the, um, this is the only way, I feel like. Otherwise, I'm not surviving this. Like, Axian doesn't really matter, so they... Basically, they have 4 AP. But this is like one of the rare cases where you actually get that much MR. Oh, that was huge. That was huge. Well played, man. Well played, guys. We have to make sure he's not blocking the wave. Nice. Do we have wave with us? We don't. But that was such a great ult. You see, you just have to wait for them to, like, land their stuff. And don't just ult because somebody gets knocked up. Always think about... Can you actually take down the target, or are they trying to bait? Do you have enough damage? There are things that you have to uh, think about. I don't want to die. But, GG's, that was a pretty good first game. Let's head on to the next one. Alright people, welcome to game 2. Uh, playing against Oriana. AP matchup. Um, it's a pretty average matchup. Um, you can do a lot of stuff in this lane. Uh, you have the mobility advantage. Um, their comp is a bit annoying though. Like they have a pretty good comp. And the main thing I'm probably worried about is the top lane matchup. Um, because they can camp the Trindamir and then you're just gonna snowball out of control. Okay, he got the first plot. So hopefully he's not messing up the lane. So that's a uh, pretty good start, we'll take that. But I have second wind here. Also I have um, unfledging because they have annoying CC with the Morgana. But second wind is great when you're playing against the poke matchup, for example Oriana with the summon Airy. Like she pokes a lot with auto attacks and accuse. Luxury. Starting the red buff, so I'm gonna watch here just to Know if he's attempting for a level 2 gank, which Javan, Sinsao, Pantheon and such like to do and switch. One step ahead of the pass. But you just want to let Orianna push in, so when you get around level 2 and 3, then you can start, you know, engaging. Given that the minion wave is in a good spot. And you can use that shield to block out a lot of the damage. That's a good one. So she has summon Airy. It means that her laning phase, the early game is going to be stronger, but she does not have that mobility that she would otherwise get with face rush. That's like the disadvantage, so it's going to be harder for her to disengage. And we want to let her push in. If I keep pushing in, I cannot engage. That's like one big mistake a lot of um, lower ranked Yasu players do. They just keep pushing and then you can't really do anything. 
So in this case, the Oriana is pushing the wave. An enemy has been slain. Oh, she stopped pushing what? Okay. He's smart. Can just poke a little bit. So the wind wall can stop her Q. But it's not going to make it like disappear. It's just going to make it so it stops right in front of the wind wall. So you can use that to block a Q once. Or more times, depending on how she's going to use it. You see, one auto attack and Q, and then I disengage. So she's not pushing the wave, she's pretty smart. In that case, I can show in the wave to make it reset. I have the wave advantage here, so I can afford to trade. I just want to make it crash. And that's fine. So now we can help out our um, teammates over here while Oriana's going to be stuck. Oh no. Did he knock him away? Can I find the Oriana here? Okay. Just a Q stack. Engage, bro. That was uh, a bit too close, I feel like. Rihanna is getting pretty low HP and she has TP. So, could start looking for a die. Okay, well played by the Jace. I like what I'm seeing. Now I like to use the wind wall to uh, zone the opponent away from being able to farm. You see, the um, wind wall stopped the Q. It just stops right in front of it. I'm going to tank a tower shot, it's worth it if I don't get ganked and okay, Javan spot side. So this way I can delay her TP by a bit, so I can use that chance to reset. Alright, let's reset here. Good time to reset because it's a kind of wave. So that is not something that she can push in in time at this point in the game. I think I just wait until I can afford the refillable. And as I said, you're getting the Berserkers because of the synergy with your Q, your auto attacks, and your E. The bot lane is looking. I mean, he's sitting on two kills, but. They're still even in farm. And they have a pretty squishy team, so Lethality Caitlyn sounds pretty decent. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Good stuff. Looks like that first kill really helped him out. Maybe he's just way better, who knows. Alright, the ultimate is up. The okay, ultimate is up as well. I'm gonna pop a potion and then I'm gonna ward around this spot. Not in the brush here, but over here because then you can see both sides. You can see the jungle path and you can also see the river side. Oh wow, my knock up did not hit. It actually missed. That was terrible. That's a good thing though, that ultimate is down. Actually huge for our case. He's a bit too healthy um, for us to just engage. Let me help bot side. Oh no, he can uh, re-engage, right? I feel like we should just peg off. Oh no, shut down. I'm gonna come back when she sees me, I assume. Oh, 
Oh, how did that not hit? I had a feeling she was going to flash it. So probably a kill type if that one hit. I also had to flash away because I was just about to end. <laughs> All right, let's back off. My job starts becoming easier. I should get more items. And I'm not going to buy the cloak. I really don't care about that uh, little bit of crit chance. Even though you are amplifying it with your passive. I want the attack speed and I want some AD. Because that is what makes um, this champion smoother to play as you get more attack speed. Could have bought two daggers, in that case that's fine. If you want to do that, but this way I got to spend all of my gold without having to buy the cloak. And also getting some AD in the process. No flash on the Orianna. I'm just gonna ping that and spam ping it because that way you make sure that your teammate sees it. Bitch. Oh my god. Okay, that's uh, unlucky. I overextended a lot, and this is what happens. Oh, he's they're getting ganked bot side, I assume. Gavin, where is he? Oh, there he is. Bro. Oh no. You get the swear. Okay. He doesn't have ults. There's no ult on Javan, but I don't think she can win one versus two. Okay, Morgana had ults. Well, that's a bit problematic. He might be attempting the drag right now. I'm gonna go ahead and check. I'll check it. Oh my god, man, I got CC'd. Bro, that is so annoying, man. I got CC'd so I could not ult. How unlucky am I this game? I had no words. I had no words. And they even got the Drake as well. Because I could not take him out fast enough. Satch? Oh, she's also unlucky, man. Man, that is so sad, bro. It's a lot of damage on the lethality, Caitlyn. But I think Javan can just ult him and then drop the Herald. He could be mid, so I'm not gonna engage. I feel like... Um, because I have great synergy with the Orianna and Javan, I'm just gonna stay back. If I get ults it and hit by it, I just die. Because no flash up. I just stay back and wait for my jungler. Could use a ward. Oh, she doesn't have. I need some help for the counter gang though. But at this point, he can actually gank mid, bot and top. Like all of the, all of us are so easy for Javan. He might be dead. I'll just push it. But she can just TP mid, I assume. Yeah, she's TPing. 
Good thing though that it's not a uh, complete. Oh wow, that was a pretty NTP. That's pretty NTP. That's good. That's a good one. For our case. Not resetting. My ignite is coming up in 18. If you make it go further back than the um up and to disappear. So she can use it to perma poke you. Over and over. Man, that's a massive shot down on the gin. Why is she so fast though? I don't understand. Feels like she's a bit too fast. Like it's only her um, W that gives a bonus moon speed. I don't understand what's happening. I don't mind this. Bro. Bro, you had to help man. You had to help bro. Help our Lena's man. You gotta help bro. I can try to make a roam bot side, but they might have the stuff up or Oriana could be warning them and then they just back off. Plus that's a 700 gold shot down on the gin. Bro, he had his stuff up. Okay. Good thing, good thing, good thing. I did not expect Morgana to have ult up, but Kaelin got the shot down, that's pretty good. Hopefully she's back in the game now. And Jin also had his flash up, like what? Oh guys, you had to back off. We don't see Javin. Oh rip Jace. You heard that and he's still staying. Okay, good one, good one. Can we do this? Oriana's getting chased what side. That was a really good attempt. For a second I thought I was going to be uh, insanely unlucky again and with them escaping with no HP. Down is dead so that's our chance to uh, get the drake. And now I actually want to go bot. Because by going bot side I can... I have easy time fighting the Orianna. Just give the kill to the Morgana. No mind. So this is what I was worrying about at the start. Because Trindamer just one shots everything later on, like you can't fight him. Just a point and click auto attack champ and base roll champ. Not much to do about that if he gets fed. And he just AFK pushes too. And looks like he's going for the hole breaker. So we can have Caitlyn stay mid. She has the traps, which is great. So she can defend pretty easily. Hopefully she does not int. I pinged the item, so please don't act surprised. Like, are you kidding me? Like, what, man? Bro, what is that? I ignited him. Please tell him he dies. 
Nice, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. But man, I really need to put this uh, trinket key on Smartcast. Like the buttons here. Alright, I think this should do the job. Oh, oh, he's insane with the snipes, bro. Is that a Gen 1 trick? Also, looks like a pretty fun build. I just could top then. They're all coming in. And uh, Rip Tower. Should we look for a fight? We do have the uh, Diana ults. W? Bro, are you blind? My bro. This is the exact issue here. Um, when they pick type champs like the Jace and they get destroyed topside and this is what happens. They don't know how to match the split pushing. And I can't do anything about a tournament with a hole breaker. I also think Jace is also pretty doomed now because he has it. So the option we have is that I also get the whole break, I guess. Your has been destroyed. I have to push this out. Because he's coming butt again. This should at least give us some time. I'm gonna push butt again, I assume. to be really hard escaping from him. I just have to hold. Could be coming from this way. I'm gonna push out another wave here and hopefully I don't get collapsed on by Yamin and what else they have. Alright, that means that we can get the Infinity Edge. So finally we're getting the spike. Yeah, this is going to uh, make things pretty hot. Oh no, she's gonna give it to Trindamere, is she not? Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Jin got it. Is he trying to? No, they're not. Okay, surprise if they try to do the uh, Baron instead of contesting the Drake. He might try to ult, so I'm gonna follow this way. Bro, what are, what are you doing, bro? Why is our Jace just um, abandoning the towers? This is the issue here. Our top is getting massively gapped. And he's also refusing to defend. That's fun. Pretty hard with um, how much they are able to kite and stuff, but you know, I have this win wall. This has to save us somehow. 
But the Baron is taking out my shield. That sucks. Right. Okay. Nice to do something. Good job to my team. If I get the problem is if I get the hole breaker right now, I don't know how much I'll be able to split push. And it's so int. Getting hole breaker and grouping up. If you're playing Trindamat, it's something else, because it's just a champ that AFK split pushes, no matter what. Yasuo can also team fight. Wow, okay. He's trying to avoid the Trindamat. That's so cringe, man. It's just pathetic. Board here. I'm gonna keep this way pushed. Just so he doesn't uh, destroy our entire site. I'll push out another. Okay, he ults it. I'm gonna push out. We just have to wait for Caitlyn ult. Good thing here is that Morgana shield does nothing, and there are three people bot side. Is it almost four? It has a push mid. Gonna split push here to make somebody come and defend. Oh! This is the Morgana recalling. He has the ult though, that's what's annoying. He doesn't have ult. Okay, good job. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. This chase is definitely being uh, insanely disgusting. Okay. Good job. Nice. We got the annoying play on their side. This is why like I like to ban champs like Masti and Trindamir. Because this is what they do all game and they just destroy pretty much anyone in a one versus one. But I would say that Masti is even more annoying than uh, Trindamir. Have to make sure this way pushes out pretty fast. Right. Can I hit the gin? We should uh, start moving towards this one. If we could clean out the vision, but I don't have my lens yet, and I want to be going for the gin. Like, he's the target. And there's even Thornmail on the Morgana. But the main target here is the Jin and the Orianna. Man, they are just grouping up. Stacking against Java and Orianna. Gonna check over here. I think this sword it. Okay, we got the Drake. What's happening? Oh, she's dead. Save her. Okay. Well, that's fine. Need to, uh... I think uh, he's a bit too good with the ult. Or maybe the Jace is just uh, too obvious in how he tries to dodge, who knows. Wait, what is not up? Wanderer, isn't always lost. 
Wait, what? It should be up, no? Oh, it's not up. The issue we are having right now is that... We can't do much. Two inhibitors are down, and it means that the waves are constantly pushing towards them. So we are losing XP and gold, and they are getting a lot for free. Okay, maybe it's a very good thing I did not ult. Which I would have if I hit the Q. That's one of those cases where it's a good thing I missed the Q. But Jarman lost a lot of HP. And I should go top and push out the wave here so he doesn't... Oh my god, man, what? The Thal D. Caitlyn looks so fun. Gonna match the wave here. Okay, that was a good thing. I think I just keep blocking the wave, then he can't do anything. I should be headed towards Jace now, I assume. No, he's ignoring the Jace. Oh no. Okay, Jace is getting. Finally, we're getting the last inhibitor. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's not something I can deal with. Yeah, Orianna's spawning, so I'll just reset. Gonna take one more wave. Kaylin is getting chased. And she's done. I'm gonna defend mid. And will it defend? I mean, hopefully defend. Because I think he's just gonna ignore me and hit the tower. Now we have to do the Baron and we have to end. Because this is what Trindamer does whole game. This time we only lost the tower for it. But you know, when he starts taking down the inhibitors, mid and bot, that's when things start becoming a lot more difficult. We have the wind wall here, so that's the big counter to the Jin. Now we have to move as a team here. I have to wait for a good Diana ult, hopefully. Um, if she can land a good ult on the Jin, then I can follow up. And Jess is doing the correct move right here. He's buffing up the top lane minions. Man, his slow is so nice on the Swain. Oh, he's dead. Kayla still went down though, wow. Let's wait a little bit. And the Q out of range. Well, that's GG's, hopefully. For oh, the second game. Welcome to the third game. Uh, this is going to be against a Syndra matchup. That is another matchup that I consider fun to play. Um, it's also on the easier side because your win wall blocks out, you know, her ultimate and the E as well, and she is immobile. So yeah, there's that. You just have to be careful not getting poked out early on because that's why it starts becoming annoying. So you actually want her to push 
in um, Ilion if you can. So if she tries to poke you with a Q, try to stay on top of your own minion so she ends up hitting those as well and ends up pushing the lane. The level 2 has to be careful of the QE. I like to move towards her in a straight line and then I sidestep. Trying to bait out the QE. But right now no point doing that since I don't have level 2 yet. So I'm just gonna stay back. Oh, that was so close, man. Sad. Right, level 2. But look at the wave here. It's a pretty big wave for her. So if we trade in here, it's going to be a... Disaster. We don't want to do that. And if we're going to do that, we want level 3. And like that, we got level 3 here, so you saw I just used the windwall to block out the minion damage. And some of her damage as well, and she overextended and bam, she went down pretty fast. Even though I missed my tornado Q. And you see, I had the minions around here, so that's why I could ignite her. She would not be able to escape even if she flashed, because I could just dash through the minions to get to her. So it was a good thing of her to not flash, because that would be a complete waste. But the TP is out. And she's going to push this way towards me. It's going to push because it's closer to her side, so her minions come back to lane faster and starts hitting my minions faster. Rip top side. We can try to repeat the same thing, trying to have a push, set up a freeze. This time around. But I ended up pushing. It's fine though. Because I want to be able to um, move first in case my jungle needs help. Well, let's just shove this in here. So now this is going to reset, which is good. We also have, you know, uh, tier 1 boots, you know, especially against Syndra. Having boots early on. Is crucial. Okay. Not take out the control ward. That would have been pretty risky. So I want to keep up the pressure right now, because that means I can contest the vision. Yeah, I'll take it. 3 gold, and she just lost her ward. So if I let her push, it means she will take out the control ward. So we can let her push, but not too much. So if we can keep it around here, in the mid middle of the lane, that would be nice. Oh, okay. Brother Udyr. Okay, nice shot down. Good job, top side. Oh my days. Is that a dragon attempt? Oh, Udia's still here. We're getting a little bit camped, are we not? Something you can expect when you're playing Yasuo. A standard thing that happens. And especially... Wow, he actually took two circles around the map to get to me. Okay, that's still hit. Ah, oh, well played, man. Well played. Thank you, bro. 
Oh man, he's falling all the way. Good job, Milo. Is it Milo or Milio? Milio, okay. I want to go all the way here because we could easily fight this. Like, no worries. Want to stack up the Q. Doesn't have ult. I can't really kill her here, but it's too soon her way. Bro, this guy hates me so much, man. He's so angry. Oh, Ascana has ults. He wants to go around, I'll wait. Tindra's son coming in or no? Yeah, okay, he wants to kill him at the red, that's fine. I just push then. No mind, I'm going back. Okay. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. I'll push this out. Because I'm resetting too late if I reset right now, even though lane is in a good position. Soon I will be back and then she's gonna crash the wave. I will just push it out. Then I also get more gold I can use to uh, purchase something with. No, not this way. Okay. Okay, that means the plate? Blade wasn't part of the uh, plan, but we got it for free. I should probably just leave this and reset when I'm sitting on so much gold. Oh, oh dear. Bro, he's still mid. He's still mid. Like, what is this guy doing? He wants to rip off. And if I go in here, I'm getting ganked 100%. I just want to push and reset. I don't have HP though. Should I still do this? Okay, Nami does not have uh, Ignite. It's a waste if I die here though, because I think Nami is still in that brush. Since our support is roaming, she's doing that as well. Yeah. There she is. It's fine. I just want to reset. Oh, that healing is pretty nice though. Pretty decent. I just can't reset. If I reset here, I lose the entire wave. Not good. Not good. But the key thing here is that, you know, you try to bait out her E. That's all you care about in this matchup when you're going all in. You take out her E and she has no way to disengage. The only other CC she has... It's a slow on her W, and that does nothing when you can just dash around. So you take out the E, and then you can all in. And you know, the mobility is what she struggles against, and that's what you have. So the matchup is pretty straightforward if you know how to play around her only CC. I'm not gonna control what this is, not even worth it. Okay, flashes out. Flashes out. I think Udia's going bot side. I'll just follow up as well. 
I'll take it. I got you. I got you, Broski. And now Gwen is going ham. He took this one. And what to do here? Good look for Rombot Cyport. It's not like ganking a Sivir with Flashing Ghost. It's pretty annoying. She did use it here, I assume, because Milio pinged her sums. But in general, like, that's not a very fun lane to gank. I'll try to stop him here. Maybe a kill? Bro, he's full AD. Oh, he's not going for it. Oh, he's so mad. You are so mad, bro. He is so mad. Protecting our jungle side with everything we got. No flash on the uh, Tundra. Good one. You see, I used the wind wall to block out the E. Otherwise, I'll get pushed into a tower. Which would not be very good. But this way, we got all the plates thanks to the Skarner Herald just before they expired at 14 minutes. Uh, you haven't even taken down the tower yet. I don't understand that. Well, there's also a tower with a gold bounty on it now. It's a bit too early on to swap, but... It's a good thing to swap just a bit too early on. I prefer that they take down the tower first. Because then the lane is open for me. How did that Q miss? I don't understand. Goodyear could be here, so I'm gonna get a control ward in. And we do have the Kraken, so it's fun time. And if she uses the E, right now she has no disengage. See the Udyr. What does he have? He still has that one item. The Yumus. He could still be around, you know, he could try to come from this side. I don't know, but he's thinking. But I have a feeling he really wants to gank mid. Oh, the shot down. Gonna go into his jungle to reset the uh, camp timers. Nice, flash out. You know, if you want to punish her really hard for what she's doing right now. You just freeze the wave, then she cannot walk up and farm. So if she just hits the minions once with the Q, just freeze it, but it's pretty boring to play that way. I don't have salt. As the flash is down, so I'm gonna save the ult. Alrighty.
Oh, I'm still what? Jesus, man. Wow. Okay. That is some damage. That is some burst damage. I still got hit by the tower. I was not expecting that. I guess that was my ignite. On the Nami, so I just tanked a lot of damage. No flash on Udyr. I certainly did run it down. We have a TP? Nope. I'll just commit since he respawned anyways. I can go towards the Drake. Siva? Does she have some sub? We do not know. I start moving bot as well because the Drake is up and it's the third one. I want to help him secure um, the objective here. Take out the wards and also the blast cone so Udia cannot jump over. And this way he has no way to get over because his flash is down. Nice. Could be topside. But I think Gwen can 1 versus 2 now with the 2 items. Tundra is visible and Skana is being annoying inside the jungle. I'm gonna help him being even more annoying. Ooh, that was a close one. You see, sometimes I try to aim behind them. Because they usually try to... Um, Um, sidestep and then they end up running into it. Oh no, the cannon. That's an unlucky crit. Jesus, man. Jesus, that damage. Wow. Ah, uh, lol. <laughs> okay. I think even if I did not use the win wall, our support was here. I'll go here. I can buy this now. Hopefully the uh, server does not hit. Alright. And what do they have? It's pretty standard comp with mixed damage, but man, this is uh, insane. So. Just shield bow into distance, and that's going to uh, cancel out the Udia burst damage. It's like some sort of one shot build, I assume. And also based on the damage that we just received. One step ahead of the past. We find the clad. He's not walking up. Oh, he's bought. He TP'd. Okay. And our top is too strong. Satch or uh, Team Clet. But yeah, you need some armor, and this stance is going to completely mess up that Udia build. Any type of armor item is going to mess it up. That's not what. I will follow this path until the end. Okay, that's worth it. That's super worth it. Got a lot of good stuff out just from a random roam. You're not gonna ult? Okay. 
I guess he wants to save it for uh, somebody else. No exhaust. We just have to let our split push us do the thing here on the sidelines. Me and the uh, Gwen. And they just hold and push mid. So tanky. And so fat. Okay, that was some... Uh... Okay, 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 I see, I see. Apparently I'm not uh, qualified to fight the clet. Because that was some damage, bro. But the annoying thing here is that when he... Um, gets off of his animal and you hit the uh, Q knock up, he does not get knocked up. So I could not ult. Oh, Saya did not see it. He pulled... He pulled Syndra, um, so Saya could hit her with all the feathers, but she did not pay attention because she was fighting the Siva. They're still winning in Sandy Heart, so... Doesn't matter too much, but... Still some... Chance to show some uh, synergy. Which failed. Yeah, it is a pretty glass cannon build. Well, GG's man, 24 minutes and getting the soul. Well, that's a big GG's. It's so demotivating to play when the enemy... Yeah, he wants to, he wants to try to do that again. I actually think he can just one-shot me, right? I just don't understand why he can do that. I mean, I get the build, but he's not sitting on many items. He has one finished item and then he's sitting on components. I don't see why I'm getting one shot this early on. But yeah, respect for playing unique builds. It is unique. I don't know if it's meta or what. But I can't imagine that. Yeah, let's help him. Because you can't really play Udia like this, I would say, because you can't team fight, man. You just get one shot. Udia needs to be tanky enough to run at people and then get to somebody, but he can with this build. He's just looking to one shot somebody. Yeah, I'm going top. I'm going. Jesus, man. Jesus, bro. I had no words. Oh, he got the Prowlers. Okay. That's making more sense. Oh, man, that damage. Well, technically, he's an assassin right now. But as soon as you get the death stance, or like the guardian angel, all of that damage is gone, bro. Like, he won't be able to do anything. So he wants to snowball early on building like this. Like, that's his way to play it out. Maybe we can... Oh, I think we just pick off. I want to reset so I can get some items. 
He'll probably stay as well and end, but let me fight the Uria once again. I think he's just can FK push. I see how much damage he's stealing now that I got a little bit of armor. But still the pro loss man. Got to hurt. He's not saying. Well, GG's. That was it for the Yasuo video. Really hope this was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.